Hi everyone and thanks for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. I'm G and this is G's Nail Spot. To anybody new here, you are very welcome and thank you so much for tuning in. To my subscribers, you guys are awesome. I love you. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. It makes me so happy and means I can continue creating great content and exciting videos for you guys to watch. So today's video is going to be me painting these nails here, which I have prepped ready. And these are going to be my holiday nails. So I'm doing some nails based on the place that I'm going. I've picked five things that I love about this place and it is Blackpool. I absolutely love seaside places and Blackpool is one of my favourites. And I'm going to go and stay with my friend who's very kindly going to put up with me for a long weekend. And we've got a very, very busy itinerary, but I wanted to make sure my nails look the part. So here I'm just showing you all the different colours that I'm going to be putting on as base colours for these nails. And each nail is going to get two coats and then we will get on to the nail art where I'm going to be painting, like I say, my five favourite things in Blackpool. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I've taken a really little squishy piece of a makeup sponge that you might have seen there and I'm tapping it into some of the white gel polish and gently dabbing it on those blue nails because I want those blue nails to look like the sky and the white is supposed to represent the clouds and I just do that in two layers so I did one layer, cured it and did it again, cured it again and then I'm taking some of this canny black gel paint and I'm going to start painting something on this nail. Let's see how long it takes you to figure out what it actually is. Okay, so did you get it? Do you get it? Do you see it now? <laughs> yeah, it's actually the Blackpool Tower, of course. How could I have a set of nails based around Blackpool without the Blackpool Tower on there? That would just be crazy. So I've taken some of that Feeling Nutty uh, Glitter Bells polish and I'm just going over the black that I laid down first because the Blackpool Tower isn't black. It is like a, a reddish brown color. Um, and I'm just using my very tiny brush there, my 0010 nails, itsy bitsy tiny brush. Uh, and I'm going to paint on some little birdies. You can't see. Hang on. There you go. <laughs> you can see there. So I'm just painting on some little birds. But this is why I put the clouds on there. I wanted to get the illusion of how high it is up in the air because the Blackpool Tower is huge. Anyway, moving on to the next blue nail where we painted the clouds. Again, this is going to be something that's high up hence the clouds uh, and I'm just using that black gel paint again to paint this on here uh, and I wanted to really get this right because this is like I say my one of my favorite things at Blackpool uh, it's quite unique and it is the big one roller coaster I'm using some black spider gel paint there because it was the only way that I could get very thin lines to make up the metal structure of the very first drop on the Big One roller coaster. It is a big drop, it's humongous. Comment down below if you've ever been on the Big One. It is amazing. It's the best roller coaster in the country, I think, and it's the, it's the highest. And it is a pretty scary drop when you get up to that, that first one. But anyway, as you can see here, I'm just tidying up where I went over that top line, because that top, like, thin, 
line is representing the roller coaster track and obviously those straight lines that I did underneath are all the uh, structure underneath and I'm going to add some more lines in and I'll add the little roller coaster train on as we go through the video. So you'll have seen there how I just used the very tiny brush to paint the little red uh, roller coaster carts on there and I'm just using a cocktail stick dipped in the black paint to put some little tiny dots on as you can see so it looks like there are little people riding the roller coaster and that is that nail done. So next nail which I think is the index finger, yep the white one and for this one I'm going to use some foil glue because I want to give it an interesting background. So I've put the foil glue on, I've cured it, I've let it sit for a minute and then I'm using this foil which is like a multicolour metallic chromey type foil and I'm just sort of dabbing it on so it looks a bit abstract. I'm not doing it neatly, I want it to look abstract and a bit all over. So I'm just doing that as you can see. So it's a kind of a messy way of doing it and then I'm popping a matte top coat on and I'm doing this because I'm going to be hand painting a design on and it just seems to go on a bit nicer when you've got a matte um, top coat on there. So I'm taking a bit of the snow white and I'm going to start painting a seagull. Yes, a seagull. And did you know all seagulls are called Gary? That's an actual fact. All seagulls are called Gary. Uh, <laughs> according to my mum, obviously. Uh, and I'm just using, weirdly, I'm using a dotting tool for this. I don't know why, I just found it easier because of the shapes, the sort of circles and the teardroppy shapes. I just found it easier to use a dotting tool to paint this. So I started off by painting the body in white and then you'll see I'll move on to using this soft grey to put one of his wings on and then I'll be using the yellow to pop his beak and his little feet on. Okay, so that's Gary all done. As you can see, we've got three lovely nails done now. And we're gonna move on to the mustardy yellow color nail. And I'm gonna use this Halo Yellow Gold Sparkle to add a bit of texture to this nail because this is gonna represent the beach and the sea. So the little bit of yellow sparkle just makes it look kind of grainy like sand and gives it a little bit of bling. And <laughs> then I'm gonna take uh, various different blues, whites, and a silver 
and just pop them all together on my palette and run them through so I can get a nice bluey white silver marble uh, to put on the nail to look like the sea. Now this is a handy little tip, so when you've done a bit of marbling like that, you inevitably are using quite a bit of polish. So what I do is I take a lint-free wipe and I just hold it onto the side of the nail and as you can see, it just pulls off some of the excess gel polish without ruining your design. And it means your nail's not going to be bulky and you've got to do loads of filing, so there you go, handy little hint and tip there. Uh, what I'm doing now is I've taken a bit of base coat, a bit of white polish, I've popped them on the palette, I've just muddled them together a little bit because I want it to be sort of almost like what a blooming gel would do but I want to use this as a little bit of sea spray, a little bit of sea foam at the top of the blue where it meets the sand on the nail there. So a little bit of see through white uh, just as a little bit of sea spray. So this nail's also going to have some little blingy bits in, so I've got my Macart rhinestone glue gel and I'm just popping a fair bit of it up in the top, the upper right corner, because I want to put some little sparkly bits and I've got these really cool little silver seashells and ocean themed bits and bobs that you'll see me use in a minute. And As you can see, I've literally got all the stones and crystals out of my drawer because I wanted literally one from each palette, um, but you know, I wanted, it, I wanted it right, so it's going to be right. So anyway, you'll see the little silver one. So there's a little silver shell, that, but these are very tiny, very delicate little bits. But yeah, little shells, little starfish, little um, AB crystals, just to give it a little bit of sparkle and a little bit of interest on this lovely beachy nail. the beachy nail done look at that little sparkle I absolutely love that nail uh, moving on to the very last nail and uh, anybody who's watched any of my videos knows I love a bit of stamping absolutely love a bit of stamping so it would be complete if I didn't do at least a tiny bit of stamping but in this case I'm actually only using the stamper as a bit of a template I wanted to do different colored stars on this nail and just so that they looked a bit more uniform I found a little uh, stamping plate with some stars on I've stamped them on the nail in the white and then I'm using red white and the dark blue to go over the stars because these stars are going to represent another of my favorite things obviously about Blackpool which is the amusements and the colors on this nail are the same as the Golden Mile uh, which is one of the big amusement places in Blackpool. I'll pop a picture of it on the screen so you can see but that's essentially what's happening here. Now this cuts a bit short because my camera decided to overheat when I was filming this and so I only get so far, I think I only paint the red stars before the footage stops, so apologies about that. Uh, but my, my phone just seemed to get a bit hot. Didn't we all this week, eh? Didn't we all? <laughs> anyway, so here are the finished nails and I'm just popping some of that No Nails Mega Gloss Top Coat. It's a no wipe top coat on those nails to give them some protection, strengthen them up and make them all shiny and lovely. And then that is the set done. 
So don't forget to drop me a comment in the box below. Let me know what you think of these Blackpool nails. Which one's your favourite? Are you a fan of Blackpool? Have you been? What do you like about Blackpool? But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the nails. I hope you've enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss the next new drop from me. Cheers guys, bye.